Hello, my name is Dr. Nish Sonwalkar and I'll be talking today in this video segment a difference between adaptive testing and adaptive learning. With the surge of adaptive learning system now there is confusion between the system those are predominantly adaptive testing and remediation system versus a truly adaptive learning system. And uh, that confusion is coming because of the terminology adaptive learning. So let me first define adaptive testing. In an adaptive testing scenario, uh, a number of questions are created with different difficulty levels and a student is put at a middle level of difficulty and based on his or her answers, they are either uh, put forth a difficult question or easier questions. So by varying this difficulty level and understanding uh, the answers that those are given by the student, now we can come to a level where students capability is ascertained based on the adaptive testing. So by varying the difficulty level of questions and looking at the answers and assessing a student in various subject matter areas of aptitude or attitudinal uh, questions, we are able to ascertain their aptitude in particular uh, area or subject matter. Now in this case, uh, once that level is determined, uh, most of these uh, testing authorities would have a national database where they can then put you on percentile basis where you belong in that uh, national database or normalized database in terms of your percentile. So if you take a test like SAT, GRE, GMAT, that's the predominant methodology which is called adaptive testing. Now some of the newer adaptive learning systems are using this adaptive testing methodology and at the level of difficulty when you are not able to answer a particular question then there are some remediation is provided and by slowly providing you more and more remedial content you can reach to certain level of competency. Uh, however, the content does not change in terms of learning pedagogy, the same content which is regurgitated over and over again but at different difficulty levels. So that's one model that is now being claimed adaptive learning system which is predominantly adaptive testing with, uh, with some remediation. In a truly adaptive system in contrast to adaptive testing system, you have to have a pedagogical framework where you are presenting content with different cognitive psychology based learning strategies. And as we know that everyone has a different learning strategy and that learning strategy differs in terms of whether you learn step by step or whether you learn by examples, whether you learn by uh, doing or uh, whether you learn by discovering uh, or uh, doing certain experiments and those are the pedagogical pathway which we have already defined as apprentice incidental inductive deductive and discovery. The point here is is uh, the truly adaptive system will not only vary the level of difficulty of the content and ascertain what level of content difficulty a student can look at and also understand from but also provide you a different perspective on the same subject matter. So let's say if I do not understand one perspective then I do have various cognitive opportunities afforded by different learning strategies and then there is an intelligent feedback not in terms of remedying you to get you to the higher level of difficulty of question but to make sure you have a conceptual understanding and that is demonstrated by then providing continuous intelligent feedback on randomized questionnaires uh, which, have, which have various level of difficulties rather than this adaptive testing based on difficulty. Once you have this randomized testing scenario with adaptive learning with different learning pathway that's where we see there's a lot more cognitive opportunity for learner to understand and learn from an adaptive learning system. So I wanted to dispel this myth about adaptive learning system which are purely adaptive testing with some remediation versus a truly adaptive learning system which has a pedagogical framework, a way to measure the trajectory of learner in learning pathway 
and understanding their competency by doing diagnostic testing and then providing real-time feedback uh, that allows them to increase their competency in overall holistic model rather than uh, just measuring how you can go to higher and higher level of difficulty. Uh, higher and higher level of difficulty may take you uh, to a certain level of competence in solving certain questions and problems, but that may not lead you to holistic understanding of the subject matter. And I think this is one of the issues with our educational system is that we give too much importance to the competency based on higher level of uh, problem solving, difficult problem solving, rather than focusing on holistic learning paradigm where you have to actually understand and and learn the subject matter and where the incentive is learning rather than scoring better so with that uh, uh, comment i want to thank you for uh, working with me here to understand difference between adaptive testing and adaptive learning thank you very much